Hello and welcome. My name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today. Now what I want to do in this video firstly is to provide a free resource which I've updated for this year that you can download and get some great tips and resources that I wish I'd known when I was first starting out with Amazon KDP. So it's got a it's got approximately 18 pages of content and what you'll be able to find in that are tools and resources that you can use for your publishing journey. Now you can also jump on my website at globalselfpublishing.com and there's also plenty of resources on that site as well. So what would I encourage you to do if you're first starting out in Amazon KDP and what key pieces of advice would I provide? Let's get into that now. The first recommendation would to be invest in high quality education. So what do I mean by that? Well, I recommend that you find someone that has your best interest at heart, that's ethical, that provides high quality content, but also someone that can teach you the step-by-step -step process to achieve what you really ultimately want to achieve, and that is to provide a quality book that resonates with customers, that solves a need, and also has a positive impact. Now, if you can find content that will be able to provide that for you, then that's fantastic. Now, there are plenty of courses out there. There's obviously lots of YouTube content out there. And for me personally, I buy courses just for the fact that everything's put in a nice sequential order. And it's nice and easy to find and follow. And I'm not trolling through hundreds of different YouTube videos to get the content. Now, some people might say, look, I've completed the course and I could have found that all on YouTube. And that might be the case. And YouTube is an, a wealth of information for education. But if you do want it all packaged up, then a course might be right for you. And you can find plenty of those courses at all different ranges of prices on udemy.com. So just check out those. And I'll also provide some links in the description below for any of my content that I create. Number two. I want you to commit for the long term and not have shiny object syndrome for the short term. When I first started, I was I had expectations of making a few hundred dollars even for the first few months, knowing that I could sort of build it up by the end of the year. But if you've seen previous content of mine, it did take me almost six months to start generating really any revenue from Amazon KDP. So I want you to have a realistic time frame in mind and a reality check about what actually is possible with Amazon, with publishing. And remember, Amazon isn't the only publishing platform you can place your books, depending, make sure, that you have the right books to place on the different um, uh, platforms like Ingram Spark. They do have a quality or integrity quality unit that is in place to ensure that the right books go up there. So you can't be creating... Um, no content books or line journals. They have a list of different books that you can can't upload onto Ingram Spark. But if you're wanting to start and get to the biggest marketplace in the world of uh, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP, then you will find a lot of the information in my resources that I've created for you. Next thing is, if you are publishing and you do want to create a passive income through books, well, ultimately it comes down to a few key decisions that you make. Number one is creating that quality book for your customer. It's finding the right niche that you can publish into because if you try and publish your first couple of books into competitive marketplaces, you really don't stand a chance. There's established books that have got lots of reviews, lots of sales. The algorithm will float them up to the top of Amazon and you'll find it very challenging to actually get in front of the customer's eyes to be able to sell your books. So find those niches which are less competitive. Again, I've got some videos that I've talked through the process that I uh, take and the structure when I go through looking for profitable uh, niches within Amazon KDP. The next thing is you need to be prepared that it could cost you a little bit of money but don't think of it as a cost, think of it as an investment, both in yourself and the books you're creating. When I talk about investment in yourself, it could be the, um, the courses that you purchase. Another 
critical area will be the software that will help you to publish because there's certain software programs that you can use that I endorse that I think are going to significantly help you. And there's a couple that I recommend that just have a one-off payment, a lifetime access. And that's what I prefer, just so I know that the payment is done, I've invested into it, and it's not going to be a long-term ongoing payment for me. Uh, again, I'll put those in the description below for you. So invest in software, invest in yourself, but also invest in marketing your book. What I don't want you to do, though, is to go ahead and put $200 onto Amazon advertising without having much education in that particular field. Marketing is a critical area for you to uh, be competent in and to ensure that you do because when you publish on Amazon, you don't just get free advertising through them. What they're looking for are books that are selling. And if you can market and advertise your books, then you start to generate sales, positive reviews, then Amazon will give you a little bit of free airtime uh, on the searches for your book to come up, hopefully, on page number one. And finally, what I want you to do is to ensure that you enjoy the process of self-publishing, but you do commit and you do uh, put time aside to make publishing work for you. Publishing isn't easy and you might see lots of videos that talk about the thousands and thousands that are being made, but what you do need to understand that is it's going to be a long-term commitment. What you might see reflected on the outside of YouTube videos is not necessarily what you can expect in the first 12 months or even two years, three years of self-publishing. One final tip that I'd like to offer you is not to be a book dumper, meaning that you create book after book after book after book, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out, and don't focus on the marketing of that book. Almost find a niche that you would love to publish in and really go deep on that one area or that one niche. Don't spread yourself too wide with the books that you are publishing. Focus on one key area, become the expert in that area and really focus on making those books the best you can. If you spread yourself too thin with too many books, you really just, you can't market that many books. You can't keep an eye on them and you can't commit to making them the best that they can. So commitment to the one area, one niche without pumping out 40 books is important. Now I made that mistake myself initially. I think I made about 50 books in my first year and probably only three succeeded and those three that succeeded were the ones that I slowed down, stopped, focused, got a good niche and marketed those books. And it does take a little bit of money to market them. So if you're in Amazon KDP to earn money but not to invest money, then you might find it very, very challenging. That's just a key piece of advice I'd like to offer up as well. So make sure that you jump onto my website, globalselfpublishing.com, download my 25 tips uh, for publishing on Amazon KDP and starting out and beginning with Amazon because that information will significantly fast track your knowledge and skill base to be able to get ahead of the rest of the people and so therefore you have a great opportunity to succeed on the platform. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information useful and I look forward to providing more information to you as your journey continues. Until then, goodbye.